the internet connection is just that's, ass. That's true. No. But I'm not. I'm not done speaking since since you guys want to run your fucking mouths <laughs> about me and then tell Jason and me to shut up about it because you know you're getting caught in your fucking dumb shit games. That's really weird, that you like though. to fucking play. Very bizarre. In my Especially your dumbass fucking games where you try to claim me as manipulative while you're trying to actually break a couple up and claim I'm the one being manipulative while you're talking to two fucking strangers who you've never met a day in your fucking life. And trying to convince those two strangers that the love they have isn't real. That's parasocial behavior. Yeah, that's pretty fucking dumb, stupid, and psychotic. Get some fucking therapy for that shit. Yes, that's abnormal behavior. It just doesn't make okay. sense. For, so, when someone asks, why is Shani being manipulative, and all you can say is, it's because the other person is right, that's called circular logic, and it makes no actual logical sense. I mean, what person's right? You know what I mean? Like, what? Uh, I don't understand. Like, what makes you so fucking entitled where you can tell two people from the internet what to do with their fucking life and their love life? Their answer to that is always, well, you put it on the internet. No. You know? No, you still don't have a right or an entitlement over someone's life because you see shit on the internet. Right. That's fucking dumb. That's really stupid. Are, are you going to say because you know who the President of the United States is, you are entitled to tell the President of the United States to do what you deem as worthy? Yeah. They probably would. Go tell Joe Biden he can't be with Jill. Right. See what happens. Well, he might just shit his pants, so. <laughs> Sorry. Go tell Ozzy he can't <clears throat> have Sharon. What? He'd kill you, man. You try to take Sharon away from Ozzy? No. He might have cheated. God, why would he? What the fuck, Ozzy? <clears throat> All these years with her, and then it's like. Oh, now I'll do it. You're fuck. What? You had a bad moment. Real bad. What the fuck? Oh, that's right. What the hell? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're not entitled to... You, you can hear about our lives, but you're not entitled to tell people what to do with their lives. No way. That's weird. Yeah. And then claim I'm the manipulative one when it's a whole group of people gaining up against me... To try to make it seem like I'm some kind of bad wife. Okay? You try to tell Jason, Oh, you'll have all the support in the world if you just dump Shani. You know what that reminds me of? Who? What? It reminds me of uh, when Jesus was having his 40... His his forty day fast, tempted by the devil, and, and he was tempted by the devil. You'll get all the world if you just bow down to me. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. What you can't support Jason unless he breaks up with me, That's and then you claim you're not being manipulative. Isn't that what Carrie did? did Isn't you? that what manipulation is? Is you give someone an ultimatum? Yes. What's up, Krista? Mm -mm. She's working right now. Poor yeah, thing. They are going to work the shit out. Right? We're working the shit out of that girl. Uh, but they just flipped the script because that's what Carrie did to you with me. Yeah, exactly. Did they just flip the script? If you don't dump Jason... You're a sack of shit. Yeah, you're a sack of shit. But if you jump, if you dump Jason, you'll have all the support in the world. Mm -hmm. And you would have. You would have. Definitely. Yep. You would have got lots of super chats. Or not super chats, but donations. Shit, you would have. Yeah. Because it was succeed. But That's you know what? I just, I'm not that type yeah. of person that gives up on people so easily. 
Right. As I, uh, well, they thought I was. They're, they're still butthurt by the fact that I still haven't left him after his money went dry. That's funny. Even though they said, Jason, Jason, you know, when you have no money, she's going to dump you so hard and look for another man. If that happened, I it that was a possibility, but no. That didn't happen. No. It didn't. Did it? No, no. it didn't. Stupid. See, you're you're wishing for this breakup so much that you you just can't seem to figure out that you you're crossing the line uh you're crossing boundary lines and you're going into a complete and utter state of delusion it's just parasocial behavior yes it really is it really is at its finest it's worse actually it's really, it's dumb, and I, I, I wish grown adults would wake up and, and realize how dumb they're being. Yeah. Because me, I'm just being myself, okay? I, I mean, I, I, you use my suicide attempt as a, a, a means, as a way how to make it seem like I'm doing something horrible toward Jason when it was actually the fact that I thought I lost Jason right? and I couldn't live without him. There you how go. is that manipulation exactly? I'm still trying to figure that one out. Well, I understand what Semig says <laughs> that, that some people can use threats of and actual attempts of suicide to manipulate someone. That does happen. But that's not what happened here. <laughs> and, and then in Coroner Girl's little thing, she said, whatever illness Shani tries to attempt to tell you she has, he's in every doctor's appointment I have. Yeah. He knows exactly what's going on. He actually yeah. can call up the doctor, and the doctor, he has waivers signed toward him yep. where he can call up the doctor and ask anything about my health that, and, right. and it can be given to him mm -hmm. they consider me your caregiver they, yeah they do I signed paperwork with all of the details that's they consider me your caregiver I should get the money now for that that's yeah a very big help that'd be a big help holy shit and we're supposed to get help with that that's fantastic so Anyway, yeah, it's parasocial. you don't know what you're fucking talking about. No, you don't. And you think you can manipulate Jason? In, Both of us, Jason, into feeling a certain way about me when you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't even know what's going on with me physically. You don't know, but you just assume it, and you just put there as the world that somehow I'm faking something. <laughs> Because, see, you have to say I'm faking something because you're fucking lying about my life. And if people realize that you're the actual fraud, you're the actual person who is the shyster, you're the actual scammer, aw, oh, damn, your whole fucking shit is done. But it requires me to be the crazy one, the evil one, the, the manipulative one. When it's you guys trying to push a narrative that I'm something when you don't even know me. That's how dumb you are. Jason knows everything. He, he has a lot of control over my life. A lot of control over my life. Only so that. Only for my well, for yeah, my well yeah, being. Yeah, for your care. Yeah. Only for that. Not because you're not competent. You're no, competent. you're competent. None of that. It's just to protect you. Exactly. I'm gonna charge that. I love that speaker. Might in the taste speaker. So, where are you getting all this stuff from? It's certainly not from us.
No. Jason keeps telling you, no, guys, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. But yet you keep repeating this same stupid That's narrative. because they've made this now that I, it's like what they tried to say about the boys. It's Stockholm Syndrome. That I like. Oh, I have no no relationship with my sons. Apparently, yeah, that's ridiculous. You're you're wrong about that. Jesus, totally, totally false. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about again. Do you realize that that boy? I mean, Zachary's doing his own thing, and he's he's. I think he's becoming. Uh, uh, he's working through all his autism stuff, and he's becoming like quiet almost now. Yeah. He's working through stuff, so he's not in that place to talk right now. William literally wants to talk to you every day he can. Like, I see him message, William messages her on here so much, it's crazy. It's like he really wants to talk to his mom. And he should, because she's a good mom, you know? She's good to talk to. Thank you. Yeah, you're funny, too. We're telling you, like, do you have fun? And we talk about some heavy stuff, you know? And he's smart as shit. He, oh, my God. He's like an adult already. Completely. He almost is. Yeah. Man, next year, 18? Uh, yep. Right? Next yes. year is 18. Yep. That's incredible. I have a man. That's it. You do. Like, fully. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I have a man. Mm -hmm. Bible says 13 to be a man. I don't know. But see... Uh-huh. Like, I, I keep trying to tell you people, the more you keep talking about this shit, the more I'm going to keep fucking talking about it and calling you out on your own fucking bullshit. Yeah, and the people that are saying don't give them any press or anything, they're already getting press. They're stealing all our views from this fucking page. Do you get that? If these fucking pieces of trap, sorry, if these people were shut down... You guys have to come here to see us, and we'd have 500 people in here. Guarantee. That's money, man. That's man, I wonder if Carrie's up at 3 a.m. Uh, yeah! Viewing this, because she's such a fucking loser. Dude, I wish we could turn that on. And I, man, I Carrie, pray I pray it. to God your husband starts eating your pussy, so you stop what? this bullshit. What? But he's too busy sucking G-Man's dicks. Oh, my. There's that. Hey, you want to hear something funny? Carrie's husband came to me in an email because he's a real tough guy. You know what I mean? He's like one of those men, men, I think. Right? He was military or something. Okay. He goes, you want to say something about my wife? You got to talk to me first. You know what I wrote back to him? I don't give a fuck about you, dude. And I blocked him. I should have said, and your wife's a cunt. I should have done that, but I didn't. No, I, I, was be, I was pretty much an asshole. I was. Oh, you're such a tough guy. Come and say it to me, son. I'll say it to you through the screen. I don't remember your name even. Your wife's a cunt. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's have Carrie and me go through a a, a boxing match. Oh my for, god! For uh, for charity and see what happens. Hey, Carrie, are you willing to fucking do that? Is going to box a charity boxing match match with me? I promise you, I'll let you have the first couple punches. Oh. <laughs> you. Oh my god! You would absolutely eviscerate her face. Okay. She's got a big nose, right? She's got an ugly nose. Damn. And an ugly face. And an ugly body. And an ugly soul. And ugly hair. And her photography is ugly. Damn. This is... And all right, her, this is her, 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 her art is ugly. Man. And just everything about her is ugly. And uh, her mom is ugly. Her daddy's ugly. Uh... Her son's ugly, and um, her whole audience is ugly. Well, what would be more realistic? I'd say, because I'm getting in the physical condition to do something different. What's your husband like? Yeah, how big are you, dude? Six four? How big are you, tall dude? You long reach, 
right? You got, you're taller. If you're taller, you got a long reach. That's cool. But I'm telling you, I'm getting pretty fucking fit. I take you at a ring. Bet the little coward couldn't say what she says to my fucking face in real life. Bet she wouldn't be able to. I, I throw a punch. I'd like to see what happens. I used to train on a MMA bag. Come say it to my face, boy. I just did. There. Huh? There. Oh, dear God. Uh -huh. Pointy nose witch. Uh -huh. la, 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 Blah, 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 blah. Say it to my face. I just did. On a fucking phone. Because it's the internet. It's. Do you know what year it is, Carrie's husband? You know how long you've been fucking with us? Fuck off, dude. You say it to me first, son. How old are you? Yeah, your, your wife has been blabbing her mouth for a whole year about something. And I really wasn't paying attention. And it really pisses her off. My question to, to Carrie's husband is, why, why does she want to spend so much time on the internet talking to other people? I mean, doesn't I, it bother you that your wife is obsessed with another woman? I mean, you should really realize that she's probably a lezo. I'm kind of seriously questioning things, buddy. Maybe you should think about that instead of worrying about our lives. I bet she'll cheat huh? on you in an instant, too, man. Huh? Maybe she already did cheat on you, buddy. What do you think? Do you have faith in the fidelity of your woman? I have faith in mine. How about you? Say it to my face. I just did, you fuck. <laughs> this is the bipolar. You see it? There you go. Mania. Want to call people awful people while you're sitting there pretending you're something you're not. Just know, without without me, you'd be nothing. Isn't that isn't that shitty that people oh. pay attention to you because of me? How about <laughs> Carrie? Maybe Carrie could take the foodie beauty challenge. Carrie, do you know what the foodie beauty challenge is? That you make a vlog and you have to edit it, right? Like an hour of editing at least. And and, and, and actually it, see if people pay attention to you, but they won't. Bet I'll get more views being in the video than you just being by yourself. Do you realize the amount of views our vlog videos got? Yep. When we went with Michael, whatever's name. Yep. What's his name? What's guy's name? God, that's pathetic. I don't know. See? My brain. <laughs> <laughs> My wet brain. <laughs> Michael Clifton? Uh... Is that it? Yes. Michael Clifton. Piece of shit. I got it. See, my brain ain't you gone. You fake fuck. You started so much.